just about to be off on our next adventure. start yesterday. We did actually have accommodation booked. We were headed out but I got sick, Bear got sick. Basically the whole day just turned into a uh, bit of a waste of time. I've got nothing to say. <laughs> so originally the purpose of this weekend was to go and help my brother Brad with um, a little project that he's got going on. He's doing a uh, short film well, a short Star Wars. A short thing. Star Wars film. He's uh, a bit of a master craftsman with creating costumes. So we agreed to go up there and do some drone filming for him. Nelly lost the drone. Nelly lost the drone. It was just uh, the whole day was a disaster. sick, meant to be heading up to Lancelin to um, have a little break and help Brad film his Star Wars short film. Well, made it up here, got very delayed on the way, but we're here. up going home again to make sure that our bear was okay and get a good night's sleep to start again today. Tad breezy out there, told by my windswept look. There she is, battling the elements. Known for the sand dunes. 
here we are, we've just arrived at the Lancelin Beach Hotel. Looking forward to our stay. Already pre-parked. Welcome to room 29. Here we are, the Lancelin Beach Hotel. It's been around for a while. It has been very reminiscent of Australia's accommodation 30, 40 years ago. And it's clean, it's tidy, it's cute. And you can smell the beach. Hear the sound of the ocean, and oh, good. So we're uh, booked into the hotel, which is very big behind us. Just having a walk up here to the lookout. Ah, yes. So a quick stroll to the uh, bit of a lookout. Unfortunately, it's very overcast, so we're not going to get much of a sunset. Very overcast, very, very beautiful. All right. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful. All right. Time for a nail. <laughs> so we popped into the June's restaurant, and uh, to our surprise, it's a stunning place. Really, really lovely food. The um, calamari was to die for. Huge servings. Certainly. Oh, they were. They were. They were great big servings, and uh, and the food was exceptional. Really good. Nice surprise. We'll be back. Lancelin. Very, very windy night, sadly, still windy morning. Yeah, so it is, it's pretty windy, but the sun's out. And... So we looked up a little bit of history about Lancelin. It's been a holiday and fishing destination since the 1940s. Um, there's a bit of a shipwreck just off the coast here, which is the, the Gil Dragon or Gilt Dragon. There is like um, military um, training and all that sort of stuff goes on here as well. It was named after PJ Lancelin. Yes, who was a scientific explorer apparently. And originally in 1950, it was gazetted as a town and named Wangaree. Which is uh, Aboriginal name for fish. Yeah, but apparently after three years, the Jinjin Road Board said they didn't like that and they wanted it renamed and it was called Lancelin. So there we are. We're off to get some brekkie. Local beachfront bar and bistro. That's where it all happens, people. Yeah, uh, butcher and abjack supermarket. <laughs> So we're certainly not in Asia. It's no. uh, totally different. We've discussed this between ourselves several times. It's like in Asia, everyone seems to live their lives out in the open. So you can really get amongst it all. You can smell the food cooking. You can see what everyone's doing. People are meeting, chatting, eating. In Australia, all you see is buildings and cars which is sort of pretty evident where we are right now. 
I mean, I just said to Greg, we're in the middle of the restaurant strip, according to TripAdvisor. We've passed two in 800 metres. <laughs> hey, there's a big chair. Oh, awesome. Let's check that out. So we found the big chair. <laughs> Air Pete hasn't shrunk. Do I look comfortable? Yeah. We're at the Offshore Cafe in Lansford, sitting here having a, a lovely coffee, uh, waiting on our breakfast. It's a bit strange for us because we haven't come with a full itinerary of things to do. Yes, not entirely sure what we're going to do after this. It did occur to me that going to the sand dunes and doing some sandboarding or something could be fun and make for great footage, except for the fact that Running up and down the sand dunes for five minutes will kill us. <laughs> you would have seen my face earlier. <laughs> well, it's actually nice to walk around town and see what it's got to offer. And there's a few cute bits and pieces to... Uh... <laughs> oh, Ah, yours come on, Tom. Oh, yeah, mine didn't. <laughs> mine is still <laughs> solid. Still a bit windy, we're a bit sheltered by the sand dune at the moment, but grateful, uh, grateful. grateful for that. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna take it as it is today, I think. Yeah, by the beach, you can tell it's a tad rough. Great little jetty. This is where a lot of our lobsters land. Day, beautiful water. I really hope that this camera is picking out the colour because it's just magnificent. If it wasn't so windy, it would be absolutely perfect. But as it is, it's not too hot. Nice and cool, moving around, chilled out. sure to keep an eye out for the next video featuring the pinnacles and some of the local scenery including an amazing plain of grass trees. See you then. <laughs>